So in, in the short term, don't expect much from Brazil. Brazil is going to be in a complete state of paralysis, both in terms of policy paralysis and in terms of economic movements. Brazil is likely to remain trapped or, or remain in a state of recession for the, for the next year to 18 months. But what it does mean for the longer term is that finally uh, the, the Brazilian model around kind of this, this incestuous uh, form of capitalism uh, is, is being cracked open for, and there's going to be greater transparency and stronger institutions that follow. What it also does show us though is that while growth was only a, a short period of time between 2003 and 2010 when Brazil enjoyed about a 5% growth rate, which is big, which is a lot for a, a large economy like this, it did have, it did have sub, a, substantive, uh, a substantive effect on society because it created a middle class that could react to uh, the political elite. And we've seen this not only in, in, in Congress at the moment, but we've seen this in popular uprisings in cities around the country. There are millions of people that are flooding the streets of Rio and Sao Paulo and other places. And that's having a huge effect. And they, are, they have put Dilma Rousseff on trial, not simply because of the, the, the accounting maneuvering, the economic maneuvering that she, that she undertook apparently in 2014 around her elections, but on the mismanagement of their economy and blaming her for the downfall of the Brazilian economy post-2011.